computer. Perfect. Okay, friends. So I have started the recording and today's session is on advanced Excel. But I can see lots of people have already attended the intermediate session. So there will be a few topics and which is going to overlap. And uh, so now what I will be doing, like if you will see the name of the first three topics, like dynamic table, pivot table and charts. So this topic we had already covered in Excel intermediate level. So again, I will be repeating this, but at more advanced level. But there will be few topics which will be totally new for you. Like if you will see the topic number four, that is your power query. It is an entire new topic. This I have not covered in intermediate level. Okay. So this will be a new topic for you. And Power Query is one of the very, very interesting thing in Excel. So there are lots of options which were not there in Excel. So then macros people came together and then they created some options. And finally, Microsoft came with one new small feature with the name Power Query and in which you have hundreds of options of Excel, extra options. When you will see, you will love the Power Query and you will say, wow, this is amazing. Means, uh, for example, if I tell you, if I want to combine a first name and last name, friends, what you do? I had uh, explained you how you can combine by saying equal A2 and B2, or you can use a flash fill, but now no need of doing all these things. You can use a Power Query to do this. If you want to separate something, so normally we use a text to call him, right? But with Power Query, you click on a button and everything is separated. If you have some of the null cells, means a blank cells, and if you want to fill that, Power Query is the solution. So lots of things Power Query can do. In fact, you can even, as I can see, lots of people have attended. So I'm going to change some of my topics over here. So in Power Query today, I'm also going to add how do you combine multiple files into the one. This is one of the regular query which participant asked me that, hey, Ramzan, I have multiple files and all the headers are same and I wanted to combine. If headers are different, it will be difficult. So you have to keep the header same. And is so no, normally I teach them the macros and types of macro codes and click on a button and it's done. But with Power Query, you can click on a button, select the folder, all the files are combined into one sheet. And then on that, you can create a pivot table, use a sum if or whatever formula you want. So this fourth topic is going to be very, very interesting and amazing. And I think I might start with that topic also, but I will give a small brush up or revision, whatever we did last time for a few minutes, okay? Then we are also going to learn advanced if. So in intermediate session, I remember I covered the if condition, but we have not done the advanced if. So I will show you how do you write multiple levels of if today, okay? We are also going to cover a seventh, which will be a new topic for you. That is count ifs and some ifs. We might have done count if and some if, but uh, we might have not, we have not done count ifs and some ifs where you can write multiple levels of conditions. And I will show you some very, very interesting and attractive thing that how, if you have a huge database on that, how do you create a summary report for your management? Okay. We will be also learning the VLOOKUP, but you will say, Ramzan, you have already explained us VLOOKUP in the last session. So I will take you the advanced level of VLOOKUP. That is how do you fully automate the VLOOKUP, okay? But if you have forgot the VLOOKUP, which I explained last time, if you have not practiced, then I am going to revise that. Don't worry. And as this is an advanced session, so I'm also going to cover the XLOOKUP function, which is a new function in Excel. That is your XLOOKUP. Yes, we are also going to do the macros, recording and running. And I'm going to add a few more formulas over here. Like I'm going to show you the sort formula. So you will say, Ramzan, sort comes under the basic. No, not that go to the home and click on A to Z. I know that comes under the basic. 
and then in intermediate level i explain this go to the data click on sort now it's not coming because there is no data so if i just put the data over here and if i click on sort it will open and from here we teach a uh, uh, intermediate level of uh, sorting so add a level and all but today i am going to show you formula sort like over you might have not heard this so you say equal sort you might have not worked with the sort formula this is a new array formula in excel which sorts dynamically when i will explain you will come to know how practically it will be useful uh, for you in your work for this again we used to do some different formulas macros so here by learning a new sort formula you have new filter formula you have unique formula i think unique formula i might have covered last time but let's see so new some new topics you are going to learn today friends in today's session so once again let me see the topics and uh, let's do a quick revision and let me see how much you all remembered so we will learn also and we will do the revision also okay so don't worry the starting few minutes we will spend on this so we all are again on a same page okay so let's start with the session friends so i click on dynamic table can you all open the first topic that is the dynamic table over here <coughs> lovely so i hope you all have opened this file so let's get started so i will just see the chat box if you don't reply me i will give you the answer for that but let's see how many of you remembered and it will be a quick revision also for the last one so let's say friends i have a data over here and i wanted to convert into the table so now gayatri who has not joined my last session some topics it will be new for her because i don't know if she knows table very good but don't worry gayatri i will take you to that step so that you don't fall separate from this okay so don't worry so very good so okay pragnesh has replied also the question which i was supposed to ask that how do you convert a data into the table so yes very good very good so you will press control p now do you know what is the next question i am going to ask <laughs> if anybody can guess if you can remember one week back session i am going to ask how do you add the total rows in the end i have added it converted it to the t wow very good so natrajan replied merlin replied amazing so you will say control shift t yeshi replied reem replied lovely amazing so i am very happy that you remembered simple too it was simple but you remembered now tell me one benefit if what is the benefit so we'll say ramzan it became colorful and you got a total but what is another benefit when you add a total what happens friends you can write it in a chat box feel free take your time what is one benefit of a uh, converting your data into the table do you remember you added a total it is something related to the total uh average yes hayat when you saw it that will be updated amazing excellent batch excellent batch lovely so f hayat said ramzan we can do average and mohammed said when you saw it that will be updated ah mohammed not sort i guess i think it it should be filter word when you filter then you will get the updated yes so but just for the other people who might have forgot or for gayatri uh, who might not be knowing just for her uh, so if i come on the filter friends let's say ajman my total is 8100 and if i say filter on dubai and say okay you get the filtered of 2425 but if you use a sum formula you are not going to get it okay acha okay okay one one quick question yes natrajan add more tables auto sum yet i'm going to show you that also you are very correct now if i want to i have filtered the data friends quick 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 uh, a reply i need how do you remove the filter i want to again bring my all the data back what is the shortcut to remove the filter
what will be the shortcut for o control shift l samaya lovely amazing so you say control shift l and your filter is removed amazing that i'm very happy so as natraj says add more table auto sum it means he is trying to say that ramzan if you add a total over here you get the color also and in the end you add more table to and over here you can come here and you can get the sum and like oh i i don't have anything over here so i will put the formula equal quantity that is d2 so when you type d2 you will get a heading and uh sorry i need a times e2 so if when i click on e2 you will get the heading name and when i press enter what is going to happen the formula is going to drag on his own till end and wow your formula is drag and like i think hayat said you can even get the average so when i click on a drop down over here you can see the average so that is my average quantity i can get a count i can get a man man mix and minimum maximum and everything very good lovely amazing so you all remember i don't think i have to do the revision for you but for last topic i will do it okay so uh, what else friends can you show me more interesting thing in this this to we all did did i showed you more on this what else can be done what else your manager says what else can be done in this dynamic table you remember something i showed you on a bigger data ah so may i remember yes mohammad so that was a slice that is the main interesting part so how i explain i came over here on a second sheet and on the second sheet <clears throat> what i will do is i will say control t first step second step i will insert a, a few rows over here and then what will be the third step yes pragnesh design can be changed so you go to the table design and from here you can change the design amazing batch so again i go to the insert and gayatri for you i go to the i converted my data into table okay first control t and then i inserted few rows on the top and then i go to the slicer so in insert there is a slicer slicer are like a buttons okay so if i click on let's say country i click on product and i just say two only so i come over here put the country and let's make it small and then i take the product buttons and if i want to make it two remember from here we made it two and then from here you will adjust it nicely let's make it three and four okay and then let's move it on the right hand side let's adjust it let's change the color from the top and here you go so when i click on india i have all the india records oman oman uae uae in uae i want all the details of hard disk transactions so all my hard disk product which is a i column keyboard monitor laptop this this amazing so this all we did in a last time okay great very nice table design can be changed okay now friends a quick question in this i wanted to take you one more level ahead in table and i remember i have not explained that in uh, uh the table part but i don't know i might have explained also i don't remember you need to tell me that did i explain that part or no let's say if i click over here and if i insert few more rows and if i click on uae i get uae correct and if i click on hard disk i get all the hard disk uh, or uh, transaction but what if your manager says hey can you show me the total of uae and hard disk over here here in the cell i want total sales show me quickly when i filter i should get total or and over here i want average sales and quickly show me the average sales over here and over here i need to also see 
it's new ah this i had not shown na i remember correct 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 then i will show you how do we do that so let's get started so first we did a revision in the table and now i am going to show you how do we do that okay so pay attention friends on the screen so uh, over here then i can even tell you to do the counts so i move this over here and i say total records right and over here i also need a total records this will be something very interesting which you will use so why not i i move the i add one more slicer over here i move this over here i come on the on the data i go to the insert i say slicer and i say slicer of city and i say okay and i come over here i make 2 3 and again i come over here and i say and let's make some change in the color lovely okay great and uh, i don't like grid lines you know so i go to the view and how do you remove the grid lines from here you remove the grid it becomes amazing nice okay now i will come on my chat box and once again friends i'm asking you if you are hearing me you need to reply me please okay is there anybody else who has not attended my intermediate level session or basic this is for the reason i am asking because there will be some topic which i wanted to explain in detail but uh, if you have already attended and again if i show you that topic you will say ramzan it's the same only so accordingly i can plan if i see many people don't know that then i might take that again the topic okay so okay lovely amazing so i got it okay so whenever you feel friend something i'm going speed or you want me to repeat feel free don't shy you are here for learning and i am happy you remembered everything which we did last week now this is something for you and you will be say amazing this is something very interesting pay attention on the screen so i come over here and i increase the font size also of this so how much is the font size and let's make it 12 and my manager tells me hey ramzan when i click on uae and dubai show me how many records how much total sales and how much is the average sales over here why not i type very clearly total sales average sales total record ten size ten size and ten size lovely so let's get started and pay attention on the screen i am going to zoom it little bit over here and over here you will use a new formula that is equal sub total right pay attention friends don't practice with me i will give you time for practice so equal subtotal open a bracket now he is asking you hey what you want to do so i wanted to do the total sales correct so the first is the average one denotes average two denotes count like this when i go till the sum so on the nine there is sum so you don't have to write sum over here no you have to put the number so i say 9 and i say comma now he is asking me the reference that which what is your reference reference means he is asking the range or which range you wish to add so i go over here on the right hand side slowly and i click on this 3600 remember you should not have a filtered applied so i click on 3600 and i wanted to select till down how you will select till down with this two finger control shift and with this finger you press down arrow key so control shift down arrow key and it will select my whole data remember if you have in between a blank rows it will not select to select the data and press enter and you get a total sales lovely so i make it quickly center i come over here if i can change the color i make it bold wow again i come over here can i copy the format over there so i come over here and i can double click on the format painter and i just click on it and i click on it 
So now whenever I will type, I get the same color, same size. I know you know that, okay? But I think double click on format pointer was not new, right? For you, it locks and then you can apply it on multiple, okay? Again, I'm repeating, how do I get the average sale? So now you think the formula, what I'm going to type. Think what I'm going to type over here, which formula? Subtotal. So before subtotal, what you will type? Equal. Equal means you are just starting a formula and you are saying subtotal. When you say subtotal, open a bracket and it asks you the average sales. Oh, average is in the start only. So I have to type one. One means average. So I type one comma and then I want it to the average sales, right? So I click on 3600. And how you will select till end? Control shift down and press enter. Lovely. Oh, I get lots of uh, uh, decimals. So I come on it and in the home, I get the decreased decimals. So I decrease the decimals from here. Okay. Yes, yes, Samaya, one comma range, right? Okay, how about the total records? So I say equal and again set to subtotal. And here there are two formulas. One is count and another is count A. Count formula counts only the numbers. So in a data, if you have only numbers and if you wish to count that, you always use a count. But in your data, if you have numbers also and alphanumeric also, and if you want to count both or in entire column, if you have only the alphanumeric, you should always use count A. As of now, I'm using count, it means two comma. And again, I come over here, 3600, control shift down. So it will count number of records, enter. And lovely, is not this look something amazing and interesting? And now just give it to your management. Whatever they want, they can see. So if I click on UAE, oh, so UAE, this is the sales. This is the average sales, and this is the total number of records. What is about Abu Dhabi? This is for Abu Dhabi, this is for Sharjah, okay? Umul Kuwain, Ajman, Dubai, Hujera, and everything. Okay, in Dubai, I wanted to see the total sales of the laptop. So I click on the laptop, so this is the total sales, this is the average sales, and this is the total number of records. Amazing, interesting friends. Can you give it a try? Okay, so now, okay, give it a try, all these things. Great, very nice, great. So what are the steps that you are going to do? You will go to the sales data too. First, control T, convert into the table. Second step, insert seven to eight rows above. Third step, put your data in the table, go to the insert and put the slicer. Fourth step, which I have showed you new today, using a formula to get some interactive reports. And this is my formula. Can we keep the slicer in different sheets? A uh, slicer in different sheets, but uh, then if you will keep the slicer in different sheet, Mohammed, uh, you will not see the actual data. So I will show you. I will show you. Let's see if that works. So I say clear this, clear this, clear this. What we will do, you know, it's a very good question. I will insert a blank sheet over here just to check it out. And I come on sales data too. I go to the insert and I say slicer. I take any other slicer, let's say of salesperson. And I say control X, cut. And if I go to the sheet number one and I paste, and over here, if I click on Ramzan, then in sales data too, I should see only this, only Ramzan records, correct? Let's try it out, friends. So I click on the Ramzan. And when I go to over here, oh my God, this is filtering. It means it's working on another sheet. Then I think, uh, who asked this question? Uh, Muhammad asked that now Muhammad will ask Ramzan, which slicer can we do the total also in that sheet? Correct, Muhammad? 
you are going to ask me this question once again, right? How do you put that total? So you don't see the data, you just click on the slices and then you see the result, total average sales and record also on the second sheet, right? Okay, so let me explain, even if you don't ask, I'm going to explain, you know, because the session has come till here. But I think people should practice first this, let them practice the subtotal. And then I will explain you that part that is also same in another sheet, you will put the formula equal subtotal. Uh, so I, I will show it to you. So friends, can we do something like this also? Let me check it out. I say country, country shift city shift product means I have selected all this slicer. It's a very interesting question here. I say copy. And if I paste everything in sheet number, uh, new sheet. Oh, wow. All it came. And I will rename. And I think I should name this Muhammad only. Very good question he asked. So I say Muhammad only. And over here, what I will do, I will make this something uh, slicer. And I say two, three, four, five, something like this. Interesting. And I make this more, let's say six and seven, I make it up. And what I'm going to do is, first, I don't know why I don't like these grid lines. So I move this all up and nicely, I will put it over here. Lovely. So, oh my God, if I spend more time on this, more few minutes, you will see some very, very interesting thing coming up. So I move this over here and I can come here and why not I create the, uh, I, I merge the cell and I fill some color on it. And I say, for example, a summary report and I can type, for example, any name of the company, for example. I just type UAE and I say, wide, bold, increase the font size, increase it from here and lovely, something like this, okay. And then what I'm going to do over here is, okay, 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 move this down. And, and the next step, what I will be doing is I go to the slicer and can I take something like this, the dark one, will it look good? Okay, let's keep this way. And I say first clear, I cleared everything. And then I go to the sales data too, over here, how to get the data in this format, in this format in slicer. Yes, I'm, so I will come over here. I will copy this all, copy. And then I go to the Muhammad sheet and I say, hey, show me over here, lovely. So I have to, I think, do some adjustment of column size here also. No, 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 no. Okay, I think this is good. Oh, why not I put this on the top? What do you say, friends? So I select this all, I move this down, and I think all this is, I can say Control X and go up and let's put it in the center somewhere. And I select this all and I move it down and I adjust this column, this column, this column, adjust it with and adjust it with, adjust it with. And let me select all these things and I say, hey, make it 12. And then again, I have to adjust the column width. This is all formatting part. You can uh, do it afterwards also to make it look more neat. And I say, very good. Oh, wow. So I click, click on UAE, Dubai, Hard Disk, Nancy. Wow, let me see what is my sale. Ramzan, ah, 26 record. This is my average sales and this is the total sales. Amazing, this is something very nice. So again, I clear it, clear it, clear it, clear it. So I just copied this all. In fact, it's a one minute job, Muhammad, if you will see. I just selected all, selected this and just copy pasted, that's all. Okay, but explaining I took a time little bit, yeah. And I added sales more person and then I made it a little bit more columns and all, okay. 
So lovely, interesting question, friends. Feel free to ask. And uh, if I know, I will surely reply to your questions. Why don't you do all these things, friends? I think I explained too many things or what? I, I will give you time for practice, okay? So now I'm giving you three to four minutes. Take a time, and now it's 10, nine, let's say 10, uh, 14. Take five minutes and do all these things, subtotal, copy, paste, and nicely make something like this, okay? Do it. And when you are done, Put it in a chat box, done, so I know. Thank you. So great, you all have practiced this. Good, Gayatri is also done. I was expecting Gayatri reply only that whether she's able to do or no. Good, Gayatri, I'm happy. So now friends, uh, when I had given you some time to do the practice, I was not sitting ideal. I was thinking that what else can be done means what is more detailed I can take you. See each, I will, I, I might not take hundreds of topic in one day. I will teach one topic, but I will teach you in and out, in detail. So when I was sitting ideal, just when you were practicing, I was thinking what else can be done? And how do you make this more detailed? 
So what I got, uh, saw was I went into the sales data too. See, I'm opening your minds, friends. Excel is just not writing the formulas. No. Excel is basically for analysis. So if you have a data on that, how depth you can go and give the report to your management, that is main important, okay? So I go over here in sales data too. When I saw the data, I said I took on salesperson, country, city, product, which was regular one. I don't need on payment method who is paying to cash, visa card and all. Alas, I don't need through coupon as well. But when I went to the B column friends, I saw transaction date and I thought this data, this total records, which I'm seeing on my screen is for all understanding. If I click on UAE, Dubai and hard disk, 57 record, but this 57 record is of which year? Correct, so when I see it is of 2010, 2012, 2013, no, 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 no. If my manager says, Ramdan, this is the entire data, I want year wise. Then how do you do that? Then you will say, Ramdan has not taught us this, correct? So Ramdan will not teach everything. You have to use some, your own work also, correct? Because when you work, any query can come, right? But now I'm going to show you some very, very more interesting thing. If I come on this data, friends, okay, now what is going to happen here is, if I come on this sheet and if I come on country and if I say insert a slicer, see it's not coming. It means when I click on this slicer and I'm inserting, it's not coming. So I go to this data, Okay, means the main sheet. And when I say insert a slicer, I get enabled. Okay. Now, when I click on a transaction date, let's say if I want to show yearly and if I want to show monthly also. Okay, so you have to bear, you will learn something new, friends. Okay. Now you are happy. I can directly go to my next sheet that is a pivot table or I chart power query directly. You will not tell me no, but you will, it, this will increase your knowledge which I'm sharing it with you. So I come on the data insert and I said transactions, but when I insert a transaction friends, I get this dates like first gen, second gen, third gen, oh my God. So this is so 2010 to so many hundreds of dates. My management wants a year. Now the problem with slicer is it does not give you year, month and week uh, quarters unless and until you create a pivot table and then add a slicer. You know, there is no pivot. You can insert slicer on pivot also. And then how do we do that? So there is an option in Excel, insert timeline. This I had not shown you last time in pivot. So today when I do pivot, I will show you. But this option timeline is exclusive for date. When I click on timeline on this data, again, I get an error, existing error. It means it's saying you can't use me on this data. I work only on pivot table. So now you will say slicer is not working. Timeline, which is exclusive for date, then it is not working. Then how do we do that? You need a solution. So I'm here to give you the solution. So what I will do is I will, I will, I will come in the end of my data and I will put some calculated column, manual calculated. So over here, I will type year. I will type year. And over here, I will type months, M-O-N-T-H-S months. Oh, here it didn't came, why? So I copy this and I paste it over here. This is a problem. So when I copy this and paste here, huh, now it came, but see still the drop down didn't came. So I will give you one more interesting over here. If it does not come, here is the arrow. From here, you can even drag it on the right hand side. So don't worry. First, I will fill the data. So if I want from this date to extract a year, you will use a formula equal text. 
So I'm going to go very slow in this so you all can practice over here. Oh, so there is a hidden column. So I say equal text, open a bracket. And over here, it's asking me value. Value means which is your text. So I say, hey, this is my text. When you click on that text, it should come B12, but it will take a transaction date. So you know this is a table. Then you will put comma. Format text means this text, what format you need. So I say in double quotes, I need Y, 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 Y. Four time Y you will put in, uh, in uh, two double quotes, okay? So over here, you will see, wow, when I press enter, I got the year. Can I change the color of this? Normally in table, we don't change, but here I'm intentionally changing so that you know this is a manually added column. And uh, yes, uh, you are right. M N O P is hidden. O P Q. So I will select both the columns and I say, hey, unhide it. Oh my God. This also I came to know that I have some hidden that I should delete. So I say control minus halas. And I also need a months. M O N T H S months. Wow. So I put the color over here. And then how do you extract the month, everybody? Can you tell me how do you extract the month? Which formula you are going to use? You will say equal and you will type text. It is asking you two things, value and format. Yes, Muhammad, very good observation. So I go on the left-hand side and I say, this is my date, comma. And for the month, what you will see, you will say in double quotes, M, 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 three time M, enter, lovely. And here you get, yes, only na sumaya, ha, ha, correct, date and M, 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 ha. In double quotes, you have to type, done. Now you see some magic I'm going to show you. Now you have added two extra columns. And now what you are going to do is, now, there is no refresh. This is not a pivot, right? Achha. So what I'm going to do is, let me come over here and let me see insert. And directly if I say slicer, oh, wow. So I get in slicer year and months. Now when I click, so I say year, give me months. Okay. And then I will put it over here. I select both, control X, cut. Oh, I should keep it over here, no? Or, uh, no, I don't need over here, Halas. I just say cut, or you can say copy, paste. you can put here also. I go in this sheet and I say control V for paste. And after pasting a data over here, after pasting a data over here, what I have to do is, should I add this in the top? Will it look good? Why this is not working in my case, the shortcut, something has happened, I think. Okay, let me select this, Control Shift Plus, Control Shift Plus, and let me else move this down. Select this, this. now it's up to you how you arrange nicely, your friends. Just I'm just putting my, I come over here on the year, and I say slicer and I make something like this for the slice of this one. And let's keep it this way. Okay. And I took the months and again, I took it over here. One, two, three, four. And again, I increase this from here. And now ah, this looks good, all the months together. But if you have a space, you can increase it. So all looks uh, together. Otherwise, I can surely click over here and give it. Okay. So yeah, this is interesting. So again, I come over here, I say, 
I think let's add more over here. So good. And over here, I think I can add more. Three, six, six months, right? So yeah, let's keep it six, six. So six here and six here. And this is 12. Wow, great. Okay, perfect. Love it. So amazing. So I just put this in different color. This is a red color. And this is also in red color. Amazing. So now so you are set. Just give it to them. And each year why sales they are getting. Each year, let's say in 2015, in Jan, Feb, March, April. Lovely. Amazing. Got it? And so I wanted to see in 2015, June, what was the status? So this, oh, there is no record only. Ah, sorry, here I'm getting records. So it's there in another sheet. But when I go to another sheet, see here it is filtered. If they want to see the detail, they can come on another sheet. It is the one. Amazing. This is nice. So again, I click on clear. I click on clear. Again, I click on the clear. And this is good to go. So why don't you give it a try, friends, everything, OK? Uh, yeah, I'm recording the session, so good. <laughs> Okay, great. When I make it a little small, this is not looking center perfectly. No? So again, I unmerge and I think I should merge this much only. So it will look perfect center. And from here, I will just remove the color. Wow, this is something amazing. You can give it to the management and uh, just give this much to them. And I think I should save this file also. Perfect. And then let them click year, months, whatever they want, and then get the report. Lovely. And they want to see then what are the transactions for that. Then they can surely go to the next sheet if they filtered on anything. And if I go here, then it should show. It shows me this. Yeah. So very good. I'm happy. You asked the question. OK, great. So I will give you the step by steps for all these things, uh, all these things. Okay, friends, don't worry. So oh, this I have to clear also. Okay. So again, I will give you a few minutes for typing, uh, not for typing, for practicing. And when you are done with the practice. Uh, let me know in a chat box. Okay, I will go to the other sheet also so you can see the formula if you want.
in new sheet natrajan you can't add direct slicer because what's happening you know when i select any slicer here and uh, when i go to the insert and say slicer it's not coming so what you have to do is you have to go to the original sheet and original data and uh, on that you just insert a slicer first and let's say i inserted a slicer for once again here and then you select cut it control x and then paste it on that another sheet okay this is what i have done okay i don't know um i have issue with the mouse okay. it, it 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 is it's not coming with the table no issues no issues is it possible for you so i cannot so i i yeah sure <clears throat> i will give you the permission once again don't what's your name hana h uh, uh, dot anani uh -huh. okay okay one second i say more and i say make you co-host so i have made you co-host and i have stopped my screen and now i think you can share your screen Okay, can you see? Uh, yes, yes. Okay, now this is the issue. Well, it, it doesn't come with the table here. Okay. okay. Uh, so if I want to create a slicer. No, 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 this one second, one second. This yeah. problem is coming like Muhammad said few minutes back. If you see between N and R, there are few columns yeah. uh, which is hidden. So I request you to select N and R column with mouse both. No, click on N, come on N, N column on the heading, same, same. Go on, on the top. Yeah, yeah. Still, uh, shift and uh, right, so, uh, drag the mouse till R column. Okay. With mouse, or you can press shift, right arrow key, right arrow key, right arrow key. Press shift, uh, right, right arrow key. Uh, you are pressing left. Oh, so okay. go to the right side. Yeah, and right click on N column, right click on that column, and there will be an option and hide. There is no shortcut for this. Huh? It's control C is zero, it does not work. Right. Yeah, okay. so this is the problem. So now what I suggest, go on the top, uh, click on O and P column, O, P, Q column, O, P, Q, and say control minus. Okay. Very good. Again, delete this column also. Delete this O this column. One? Yeah, go to the on the top. On the top. Yeah, O click on O column. Yeah, control minus class. Now you say months and it should come for you. Okay, right? thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Very nice. Great. Thank you. Thank you. So you can switch off your screen. Stop sharing. Okay, so I say share my screen and I say good. Okay, you all are practicing. Amazing. Lovely. So still there will be some people who might be doing this. So I will take next one more minute. I will wait here and then I will move ahead. Good. Merlin is done, Sibyl is done, Polly, SK, Ranjit, very good, lovely friends, okay? So, so you see, uh, this way, actually, Excel is this only, Pramod is done, Pragne, this is Excel. So he, Muhammad, asked just a one query to me, that, hey, Ramzan, can we put it in another sheet? Then I said, okay, let's put uh, the total also. Then I said, let's create the heading also. Then we said, let's put the year and months also. And it became something very interesting. <laughs> okay, great. So can we move ahead, friends? Okay. So now I think we should stop because I think one hour we took to do this. <laughs> we should end this. But it's okay. But you became master now in uh, working with the control T table. I don't know if Gayatri knows this, that, that if you don't want table, if you will say, Ramzan, now I don't want this as a table. Means again, I want my original data back. 
So you have two steps. One is you will go to the design and over here you click on a drop down and from here you make it white. First step is this. Now I'm not doing. First you will do this. After it becomes white, if you don't want color as well, then otherwise just right click on the table, go to the table and say, hey, convert to the range. When you say convert to the range and when you say yes, alas, all the slices will go. Slicer says you don't need me, I will go because slicer works on table. Let me see from second sheets. Ah, from second sheet also slicer is gone. So I will quickly come here and say, boss, no, no, I need you. And I say undo. And what I see, all my slicers are back. Wow. So I hope now entire table topic is done. And now you have become good in the table part. Okay. So I will quickly stop the, that means I close the spine and let's move ahead. So now everybody, we will start with the second topic that is your pivot table, okay? So now I click on pivot table over here. I don't think I should revise the pivot table. Uh, everybody knows it. And uh, uh, last time uh, before creating a pivot, I told you what to do. We will convert a data into the table, correct? But then I said, before doing control T also, there is one more step that is cleaning of the data. And we said, this is a dirty data. This is unclean data. This is a messy data. I wanted to clean it up. So we said, let's put the age. Let's delete this with control minus. Then you remember we cleared this with control H function. We came over here and we say merge and center, remove control D. I came on visa card, unmerge control D. I hope you remember all these things. I don't want you to repeat that, yeah? So this, we did clear the messy data. Then we came here and we said control T for table. We converted into the table. And then we said, let's insert the pivot. So we went into the pivot and I said pivot table. So I'm assuming, not assuming, I, I, I trust that you know the basic of pivot. Almost all are my from last session, so everybody knows that. So I know not repeat, go to the pivot, say, okay, drag here, drag that, that you all know, okay? Now pay attention, something more interesting in the pivot. Now we are going to the next level of pivot. But we will start because we need some summary report to do. So I say, for example, I put the country over here and where you will put everybody sales, you will put sales in the values. And then I need a product. So I will put a product over here. So you get this. After this, I remember, I think I have, I removed the country Then I explain you, okay, if you can put a product over here, you get a product wise, then you put product here, country here. So you get something amazing report. And then I uh, explained you that in this, you can insert a filter. I don't know if I explained, but if no, then you can see that. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the uh, city wise, for example, I'm doing a little bit change. So this country, no, this city, I will put it under the column and this country, I put it under the filter. So what I have done is this country, I have put it under the filter. No, I should explain you this way. Let's say this is a report. I said product wise uh, and city wise. Should I bring city over here and product over here? Will it look high? I think this makes more better. This makes more sense. Okay. So this is the report first I'm creating city wise, product wise sales, you know this, but there are all the cities. But let's say if I want to see only my Dubai city sales, or you want only uh, for some sales person. So I can say, I take the country and I put it under the filter. So here you will see this. I come over here and I say UAE. Okay, so I get UAE sales for each city 
and for that particular product. If I say India for India, if I say Oman for Oman, right? So I select my UAE over here. So this is for UAE. Now I can go in more depth. I can take the salesperson and put it under the country. So in UAE, I want to see my sales. So I select Ramzan. So it's showing me, oh, so this is the sales for Ramzan. So if you will see, the beauty of this report, it is even showing blanks, which means this person has not done sales in this areas, right? Means for this products. Yeah, this is a good insight. Okay, great, very nice. Now we will move a little bit more ahead in this. You took a country, you took a salesperson, but again, this is of which year? This data is of multiple years. So you will say Ramzan slicer is not going to come over here. So how do we do that? So as it is a pivot here, this is going to work. Insert and you will say timeline. This is going to work. Why not I add few more uh, columns over here? Let me see otherwise, oh, it does not. So if I come on the top and if I insert, it is inserting, perfect, lovely. And I come on this and here I can use a new feature that is your slicer. So, you know, you can insert a slicer in the pivot. I have already shown last time, but you can now insert a timeline. This is a new thing I had not explained last time. So I said, slicer of what? He took automatically one date because slicer as timeline works only on date. So I took a transaction date. Okay. And here you go. And you can put this, arrange it nicely somewhere over here. And want to see the magic. So I click on the months and I say, hey, year, wow. So here I can click on 2013. So 2013, UAE, Ramazan, this was the sales. No, I don't want a particular person. I want for the all. So this is the 2013 sales for UAE, 2014. 2014, there was no sales. Uh, I didn't have a data only for that. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Really? There is no data for UAE after 2013. Is it serious? Why not to cross check? So UAE 2013. So when I go here and when I say filter on 2013, Two thousand thirteen. In that, UAE is there, but after two thousand thirteen, if I type two thousand fourteen, yes. Oh, there is no data of two thousand fourteen for UAE. Only for India, it is there. Got it? It means my this is right. Okay. So if I select two thousand fourteen, I'm not getting data. But if I select India, I should get the data. So I say, okay, got it. So now you will say, Ramzan, how it is possible whole year sales didn't happen, not what we are. It might have happened, but this is our dummy data. So while creating dummy data, that data might have not been inserted. It means there is no data for that particular country. Okay. So this is something, oh, not only this, friends, let me move ahead. You will say, okay, Ramzan, how about the months? So you click on the years and you say, hey, show me the months. So it is going to show you more interesting report. Can I make this over here on the top? So it becomes more clearer to you. And I make it a little bit lengthwise, lovely. Can I insert one more row over here? And let's make it a little bit more bigger. Perfect, looks good. So in 2015, Jan, Feb, March, wow, this is something amazing. You will say, no, Ramzan, I need to see quarter-wise. No top problem. Take the quarters. So I say quarters. So each year, each quarter, how much is the sales for a particular country or for a particular person? You can surely do it. So this is something very, very interesting. You can try a new thing in the pivot. So I request you to give it a try. So create this pivot for, sorry. So I want you to create a pivot and then insert a timeline. Good, Natrajan. Very good. Lovely. Other people, give it a try.
uh, how do you fill the blanks? Any comments? Uh, yes, this is a pivot uh, uh, Natarajan. So if you convert a pivot into the table, then you can do it. But still, there is one option in pivot, which I remember I did a long back. Let's see if that option supports. Okay, very good question. So what we will do is we will see month wise where it was coming lots of blanks. So I say 2015 Jan, huh? something like this, right? Let's see. So what you have to do is you have to right click. You have to say pivot table option. And in pivot table options, in pivot table options uh, for empty cells show, uh, zero though you can type that is for sure i know that so it will fill with zero lovely but can i put some comments over here so i right click and for empty cells i say for example no data or i say no sales and i put question mark i really doubt oh amazing amazing no sales why Wow. And then on this, uh, Natrajan is asking any comments or highlights are ah, highlights. We can do this with Natrajan. Can you select this and go to the conditional formatting? And I say equal to equal to what? Equal to no sales. And I say question mark. Will it come? I say no sales. And I say question mark. Oh my God. This is amazing. Wow. So I got this. Okay, interesting. Good question, Natrajan. Amazing. So you see how our session is going. Okay, so very nice question. So on the right click, I will explain once again, right click, pivot table option for empty cells. I will put no sales. I think I should not put question mark. It's looking very weird. Okay, so now again, I have to change that uh, conditional formatting. Na? So again, I say manage my rules and I say edit a rule and I say I don't need a question mark. So I just say no sales, make it in red and I say apply. Okay, wow, this is lovely. So this gives me the idea, Natarajan that in India in 2015, January, why there was no sales? Means people only sold uh, hard disk in Hyderabad. And in Hyderabad, they didn't sold keyboard, mobile, monitor, motherboard, mouse, why? Okay, so very, very good analysis, Love, lovely. Okay, uh, other people try it out, friends. When done, let me know in a chat box.
Lovelies. Okay, lovely. So I think people have replied done. Still, I will wait for a few more seconds. Good, good. Gayatri is also done. SK is also done. By the way, SK, what is your full name? <laughs> Sadaf Khan. Ah, ah, Sadaf, Sadaf. Oh, I didn't took attendance today. Good, I remembered. Friends, can we take a quick attendance? Quickly. Okay, or, or let's, let's take after the break, not now. Let's complete these topics first. Okay. Okay, good. So let's move a little bit more ahead, friends, in pivot table. So I'm not going to show you now in pivot table the refresh part. So we have already know you can right click and you can refresh the data if you make any kind of changes and of the things. Now we will move a little bit more ahead in the pivot table, which I had not explained last time in, in intermediate. So I go to the sales data and I my manager tells me, Ramzan, can you show me yearly sales? So I go to the insert and I say pivot table and I say, okay. And I say transaction date over here. And I say sales over here. So you got each year, how much is the total sales? I type year over here. And uh, if I remember correctly, I had shown this last time that you right click on a year and over here you get an option group. If no, you can just see it right click group and here i need only year and quarters and i say okay so you get each year each quarter how much is the total sale i hope it is recording huh yeah okay so what i will do is i will right click and i say group and now i just want to see the year so i say year when i only select right click year and okay from here this plus will go Previously, there was plus over here not to expand it. That has gone. So now you get yearly sale. But now see the next level. Your manager tells you, hey, yearly sales is good, but I wanted to know if my sales is increasing or decreasing. If increasing by how much percent? If decreasing by how much percent? No, I need number also and I need a percentage. Let's see how do we do it. So I say sales, I put it over here. I say sales, I put it over here. I means two times I have dragged a sales under the value once again. And what I will do friends over here is you will right click on a second column where I need a difference. So I say show value as, and I get an option over here. Where is that option? Ah, here, difference from. So remember, I'm just stopping here for a few seconds. So if you are writing, you can just write or you take the photo, whatever it is. Or remember, I will give you the notes, right click, show, show value as difference from. So I click on difference from. And in difference from what you will do, base field, transaction date. Yes, don't change a base field. This is my transaction date. But base item, I don't want to see a the, the, the same years different, how I will get it. So I click over here and I say previous, always select the previous. So I click on previous and I say, okay, wow. So it's showing me minus 30250. It means difference between two years is this, okay? Yeah, perfect. And then again, from 11 to 12, my sales increased by this much amount. Lovely. Okay, one more time. I say right click on a third column. Show value as, but now I will not say uh, percent, the difference from, no. I want percent difference from, both options are together only, okay? So I click on percent difference. And what you will say in the base item, previous. Why not I copy this and I paste it over here. So I say, okay, lovely. So I will just paste it over here. I took the screenshot, you will remember. So now it is showing me a difference, percentage difference, amount difference, lovely. 
total sales. Select center. Wow, these are your reports. So management comes to know in which year it was more and in which year it was less. Got it, everybody? Now here I'm thinking Natrajan might ask another question. I'm just telling her, don't mind. <laughs> I will select this and I'm just checking highlight cell and I say less than. So I say less than 0%. Less than Natrajan, 0%. What it will do, you know? It will highlight those cells which are in minus. Management comes to know here there is a difference. Okay, I'm just giving you the idea. Okay. So give it a try, everybody over here. Yeah. So first, how you will practice this now? The first step is you will go to the data, create a year-wise report. It means you select year and total sales. First, create year-wise report. Second step will be, will be what? You will drag this sales two time under the values. You will right click. You will say show value as difference from. And in third one, right click person difference from, right? Give it a try. Now, um, uh, writing all these steps will really take lots of time. I think I promised one participant I will write it, but uh, it is going to take time. But I have all the uh, screenshots and everything for whatever I'm showing you friends. Okay. And I can even give you this one minute. So in case if you, uh, I convert and give the video. So if I can give you this also wait. So I say Ramzan Rajani, let's say, for example, I click on X lookup and I'm just giving it this to you so that in case if you wanted to see it, why for me NA is coming? NA is coming, okay, I will see, give me a minute. So friends, this is the uh, YouTube link I have just shared it with you, where I normally upload interesting videos, uh, not very regularly, <laughs> but from next week, I'm going to update regularly some very, very new and interesting things. So you can check out this channel and uh, we will solve Sadaf problem. So Sadaf, you are getting NA where in amount difference? If, if you can show me your screen, then it would be better. Or I don't know if you have select the right one. You just have to right click Sadaf, show value as percent difference from, and remember here you have to select base field, transaction date, and base item as previous. If you will not select this, you might get NA. Just select this if this is the right one. And it should be some only. If you uh, see. Someone's you background sound is coming. Okay, friends, can you just mute yourself, everybody? Okay. So try this, Sadaf, if it is right. If you say still no, Ramzan, it's coming, then I will uh, then I will see your screen and I will then show the call the problem. Good. Could you repeat that? Sure, I will repeat it, Gayatri. See, I will show you from the start and in quickly one minute. See, I have a sales data. Step one, you will create a yearly report, right? How do we do that? Insert, pivot, okay. And then, you will take the transaction date under the row. This is the first step. 
and you will take uh, sales under the value. This is the first step, okay? Now, when you take this, actually you will get the plus over here, correct? Now I'm not seeing because I've already done the setting. So what you have to do is right click, group means right click on a year group and over here you just select the year okay so that this plus and all goes okay i just type the heading name okay now what i did is i took this sales one more time under value and this sales one more time under values got it till here you are done okay now after this you will right click on the second column show value as and this is the option which you will take difference from but before going to difference from remember in summarize value by it should be some means if it is count then it might give you some different thing it should be some show value as and i said difference from and in difference from what you will take in base item here as a previous. And say, okay, done. Same way you will right click on third column. Now here I need a percentage difference. from. So in base field, don't select, Achha, it's not giving anything only. So here you come and you say previous. Okay, and you should get this way. And then what I did, I selected the data and then I went to the home, conditional formatting, and then uh, I did less than this option I took. So I, and I want less than 0% in red color. So I clicked on less than and I said 0% with which color? So with a light red fill and I just say, okay. And you and then I renamed the heading. I said total sales and I say difference. And then I said percentage difference. And then I selected all the data and I said center. Okay. So I hope you got it now. Okay. For me, it's still NA. Okay. So then Sadaf, I will make you a co-host where is SK. And you just show me your screen. Good guy three, make a co-host. Okay, so I have made you co-host uh, Sadaf. Show me your screen and uh, I should be able to guide you. Are you able to see my screen? No, not yet. You click on share a screen on green color button and then you click on, uh, I think it's coming now. Ah, this is coming on what? Okay, come on the difference column. Remove it from the value, second one, remove it from the value. Ah, no, okay, now right click on it, right click on it. Okay, wait, before going here, before going over here, cancel it. Right click on your year in a pivot table. Right click on the year, means in A column, you will right click not over there in a data, which is in A column. Right click. No, on the date, on the date, where it is written date. Yeah, there. Group. Remove months and quarters. Okay. No, 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 keep yours. <laughs> keep yours. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now right click on second one and check it out if it works. No, you are not changing one thing, my friend. Previous difference from. Ah, then no, no, below that. You have to select previous. Yeah. Got it. Try the percentage as well now over here. Done. Got it? Shallow. Great.
Thank okay. you. Okay. Welcome. Welcome. So I will click on it and I say share. Okay, everybody. So I think it's the right time for break. We started at 9.30. 9.40, we started a session after 10 minutes. So exactly it's one hour, 30 minutes. So I think it's a time for a break. So I will say quickly stop recording so that video does not become of eight hours. We will be having it in a part. So I'm saying stop recording. <laughs>